welcome everyone. This is going to be episode 21 of my police simulator patrol officer series. I am indeed a real police officer playing this game. Uh, so it's fun. You guys have had a lot of comments. I have not recorded in, oh gosh, it's been three weeks. I pre-recorded all that stuff because I was out of town for FarmCon. If you haven't seen my main channel, uh, Farmer Cup, that's mostly what I play as farming simulator. Um, but yeah, you guys can go check that out if you'd like to. But I have a lot of good uh, questions you guys had about uh, police work and stuff like that. So um, a lot of good questions, um, which is great. Let's go ahead and uh, we do a, a foot patrol maybe at night. That might be a good way to kind of we'll kind of do some talking while we walk around. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. We'll do a night foot patrol here. Um, we'll do a 20 minute shift and then yeah, foot patrol at night start shift. Yep. I know we're just writing some parking violation stuff, but there's a lot of good questions and I want to make sure I answer all your guys' questions um, as we go through. Now, again, these are me answering them as a police officer, I'm not answering them, giving anyone any legal advice or anything like that, or guaranteeing how the police are going to respond to specific situations. Um, this is just my opinions slash what my experience has been of uh, being a police officer in my specific town, which again, I don't, I know I don't share where that's at, but uh, I work in Washington State, so that's where the laws that. Um, oh my gosh, they just jaywalked. They're not jaywalking, they're on a crosswalk. Assistance required. Is an no, we're not going to do that. I'm going to. We'll leave call outs on because we might have like a wanted person. I'm dealing with something else currently. And I did turn down the sirens quite a bit, so hopefully you guys can hear the game a little bit better. Hopefully it's not overpowering. It does look a little loud, so I might turn it down just a touch for you guys. Um, um, no. so we did a wanted person, I'll take it. That's why I don't want to get rid of too many things. Um, okay, so yeah, first question was what did you stop someone for going five over? Doing any crimes? Nope. Okay. Uh, and the answer is really no. I don't. I wouldn't. I mean, maybe in a school zone, if there's a ton of kids around, maybe. But I really just don't stop for five over. My threshold personally is for um, a minimum of uh, a minimum of ten over. It's usually where I stop at. Sometimes I'll lower that to eight. Um, see, this sort of thing too. We have a lot of stuff to discover. Sometimes I'll lower that to eight over if it's a school zone again. But that's really the only time I lower my my uh my my speed threshold i feel like you're not supposed to be parked here too close to that crosswalk darn it all right two parking ticket uh um too close to crosswalk there we go need the points that's great okay i don't think we can tow it for that oh we can I perfect have a vehicle that needs towing can you send a tow that's good to know to current location please I am going to do some tutorial videos as well. But yeah, that's my answer. I would not really stop for five over. Um, and I usually don't write tickets unless you're going at least 15 over. Or if you're going 10 over and I see that we've warned you a bunch of times or I recognize you from pulling you over from speeding, you're probably going to get a ticket then. Um, and then someone else asked, do we use drones to look for... Support required. No, I don't want that. I'm in the middle of resolving really something resolving else. Anything, but how do I get my flashlight on again? I have to remember this. Oh, boy. I just forgot everything. This is what happens. Flashlight, flashlight, two wheels tab. That but I don't think it's in the. Yeah, I don't think it's in here. Oh yeah, turn flashlight on. There we go. Then I can turn that on and off now, right? Theoretically. No, I'm not gonna take care of that. I'm currently we'll see dealing with something on. else. This is probably not the best way to do. That's a little glitchy. That flashlight it might drive me crazy. Um, yeah, maybe we'll turn the flashlight off. Assistance is requested for an emergency. All right, calls Sorry, are driving me crazy. I'm, I'm gonna turn them off. Else. I wish I could like turn down the amount of certain ones you get. Let's uh, turn our flashlight off. Nice to see you. I greet. Hey there. And I've been told you greet them back by being in front of them. There's not like a time limit, so maybe I just need to be better about that. So. Uh, you guys, the comments have been great. I know that some of you guys have gotten, like, angry at me in the comments because I haven't responded right away, but that's just... I Again, I pre-record in large batches my episodes. The meter's good, but you can't be on the sidewalk here. There we go. And then... Actually, I never looked at your tabs. Your tab's good. I've been not looking at that. 23... Yeah, they're good. They're good. I don't remember what... Uh, Time period it is and also I've, I've yeah i've learned all sorts of stuff like can't write expired meter tickets to 
Um, I don't think we tow people for this. Yep, we don't. That's okay. Can you send a tow truck to my current location? I can't remember. I have a vehicle here that needs I've towing. I've forgotten. It's been too long. This is expired. Do you have like a handicap? Anything? That I see anywhere? I don't see anything for you. That's what I've been told. Is that I guess for handicap you can't do that, uh, which makes sense. I like that rule. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, but yeah. And then they have so someone else asked if we use drones to look for wanted person. We actually have a really good drone program. Uh, we don't use them to look for wanted people very much. We mostly use them for um, we mostly use them for looking for people that are missing, like missing children and stuff like that. Because we have like some heat seeking ones and stuff like that. Um, but we have used them to look for wanted people before, and it's worked out really well for us. But typically, we use them for um, for finding uh, like lost people and children and stuff like that, which I think is a really good use for them. So good question. That's what we use those for. We do have well, actually quite a few drones. Our department does. Um, and they do come in handy. How are your tabs looking? Tabs on the front of a vehicle. You never see that in Washington either. Um, that's not where the use. Like, matter of fact, you're not supposed to. If you get in, get in trouble for putting them on the front, you have to put them on the back. Um, you have to have a front license plate, but your tabs have to be on the back of that. Is that meter good? Yeah, those are all good. Okay. Which person? Oh, you just littered? Well, littering is no good. People have also been, I've had some harsh comments about, oh, you know, you've been treating people like terrible in this game, writing them tickets, no warnings. Yeah, it's a game, guys. <laughs> um, you've been detained for throwing trash on the street? No way. I always use a trash can. This person seems very confident. Well. I'd like to see your ID, please. I swear it was this person. There were a lot of Here people. Go, Hopefully sir. I was right about this person. Okay, um, so that looks like him. Let's look in the background check, no gun permit, uh, no open warrants. Never gotten a littering ticket for He hasn't actually, okay. I'll give it back. What are you, gonna, what are you why are you constantly looking around? Um, or is an issue of violation for littering? I'm issuing you a ticket for littering. It should be about $25. Oh, come on. Oh, That's you're so much fine. money. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Nice. Good litter. Okay. Um, how's that? That's looking good. How's your plate looking here? I know some people get irritated when they just walk around and write parking tickets. I mean, I don't really do this very much in real life, so this is almost kind of fun because I don't really get to do this very often. I was hoping to do the thing where I could stack multiple violations, but it wouldn't let me do it for that one for whatever reason. Um, good, like that one. They are pretty far in the street. Um, don't, you know, we're not going to call tow truck. I don't think you can. We'll try it. We'll try it. Maybe for too far into the street? Nope, can't do that. I've got a car here that okay, needs you're towing. You're expired. Can you send um, a record to my current location? Any handicapped stuff anywhere? I don't see it, so... Um, issue parking meter violation for you. Trying to get very many points today, but that's okay. We'll do some more incidents and stuff to get some more points. I'd like to find uh, more wanted people, get some more thieves. Who just jaywalked? And where? Oh, they're way over there. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. They're okay. Um, are they too close to that fire hydrant? Nah, they're fine. Uh, but anyhow, yeah. And then you guys asked a few, uh, quite a few other questions. I got a lot of comments um, about cops violating traffic laws and parking laws, cops being quote unquote tax collectors. Um, we are not quote unquote tax collectors, so at least in Washington, um, I can tell you a little bit about how things work. It's good to oh. see you again, officer. No, I wanted to greet you. But yeah, there we go. There we go. We greeted them back. Um, so police are exempt from the traffic laws. That doesn't mean we always should be breaking them. I agree. But we are exempt, so there's not anything wrong with us violating the traffic laws. That's just the laws. If you disagree with it, uh, you should contact a lawmaker, uh, because that would be who has uh, who has elected that to be the rule. So that's just the way it is. But again, we also try to do that in a way that's respectful. We don't try to do it constantly. Um, so we try to be smart about it. We don't want to be jerks and look like jerks and set a bad example. But if I pull up to a call, like there's a call, it's here's a call right here. We'll I might park my patrol car hours. right here if it's a more urgent call or a call I need to address. Even if I didn't go lights and sirens to it, it may not be that level of urgency, but even if it's urgent, like, 
maybe a minor petty crime or something like that. I don't want the person to get away. Yeah, I'm probably just going to park in the road with my lights on because there's no parking available. That's very reasonable. We do that sort of stuff all the time. Um, so, yeah, that's just something I'll note about that. Uh, but all the money that we get from all these parking tickets, the parking ticket money usually goes directly to the city, not to the police department. And the money that we write for traffic violations in Washington, none of it goes to the city and none of it goes to the police department. It all goes to the state. Um, which, yes, the state does fund stuff, stuff with it, but none of the stuff that gets funded is police related. So I have no incentive to write tickets. No incentive whatsoever. Um, it doesn't help me out. It doesn't help our department out. It doesn't really do anything for us. Um, what do I want to do for you? I Far into the street, I think. Yeah, you are. Okay. So, this uh, note on that uh, the Terry Stop and Frisk, I think I'll talk about that in a future episode because that's quite the can of worms there. Um, and I had a few other questions. Someone asked like 10 questions. They're actually really good. Uh, Excuse me, officer. Could you help me sure. out, please? Sorry, officer. I can't find Natasha's. Can you point sure me can, in the right probably. direction, please? Let's see where the closest one is. Probably can help you out here. Oh, where are we at? Right there. Thanks nice a lot, you, officer. officer. Who greeted me? Is it you? There we go. Hey there. Find and arrest drug dealers. Love to do that. I need to have my light on anyways. Oh, let's see. Windshield is absolutely smashed in. Bikes were in a rough neighborhood. It's a little far into the street, but probably too far, to be honest. Love to catch a drug dealer. Love to catch a drug dealer. That'd be great. We haven't done that yet. Shift's about half over. I wonder where we could find a drug dealer. Kind of a gun somewhere. I have to do some research on some some of these being, or where some of these crimes are more likely to occur. Or like I seem to think like back alley, like right there, like you would. You think that'd be perfect for it? All right. Hello, criminals. Where are you guys all hiding at? This way, I'll head back here towards the center where we're at. You guys have any tips on catching drug dealers? Let me know. Up there. What are you doing? I can't even just talk to people. Gonna just start doing some social contacts, but I guess you can't do that. Be nice. Hey, have you heard of any drug dealers in the area? Mm hmm. They would say nothing, but I'd be very confused. Huh. I might have to do some research. I might have to do that. And if you guys are commenting, yelling at the screen, remember, I pre record episodes. The list one actually, I think, will come out the same day I'm recording it, so. You guys should give me some feedback pretty immediately um, if you guys are watching it. Uh, let's see. I would have thought I would have discovered another couple of points of interest, too, by this point. I guess not. Are you about to deal drugs? Nope. Okay. There's a lot of people over there. Drug deals going on back here. I have been told that by a comment, I believe that someone left that if they someone runs from you, that's enough alone to stop them. <laughs> Just if they're running, uh, which is fantastic. Um, that's not how real life works for sure. But if it's good in the game, it's good to go. You know, cars out here. I guess we could have run running speed as well. There's probably people speeding left, right, and center out here. But. Uh, there's just no drug dealers. That or I'm just really bad at this. See that? So I would guess is that a one of the taxi stickers? That I think that's what I'm seeing on there. Uh, that's not why we're here, anyways. But we're here to write that one. 
but yeah, so I'll keep an answering uh, some questions for you guys um, as we go through. So keep leaving them in the comments. I've been writing them down on my phone um, and keeping kind of a tab. I'm actually deleting the ones real quick off my phone so I don't answer the same questions twice. Uh, but yeah, you guys have had some really good questions, and I'm happy to answer them. Again, not, nothing what I say is legal advice at all, so don't take any of it as that. There's a handicap placard there, so they could be good if that was expired, is my understanding now, based on the comments. Yeah, do listen to comments, despite what some people are angry about in there. <laughs> oh, it's funny. You guys crack me up. All right, you are on. Right, we'll go ahead and just write you a quick little tickerino here. This has been a very low, very low day for, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get some speeders. We have had, and this is a LiDAR gun. It's not a radar gun. I hate they call it what they're calling it. That's a terrible spot to do traffic. Run across here. Oh, we'll write this guy real quick. Um... Just a no parking zone, right? It's been so long since I've done this. Special parking. Just no parking. Yep, okay. <laughs> Get nervous. I don't want to write the wrong violation. We don't want to lose any points here. And we can call a tow truck for you. Can you send a tow truck to my current location? I have a vehicle here that needs towing. Negative. Your location is currently unreachable. We'll send one as soon as possible. We'll report that one. That was 10 over. That's a good one. Which person just littered? You just littered? Unbelievable. Hell yeah. You've been detained for throwing trash on the street. You're right, officer. I'll dispose of it properly next time. Constantly looking around. So I, my understanding is this is enough to maybe frisk them. Please Maybe if they're doing something suspicious, we'll see if it likes that or not. No items to be found. Okay, yeah, and it did say give us points for that, so that's good. Okay. Your ID, please. See Here if they have any go, warrants sir. or anything. No gun permit, but they didn't have a gun. Nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, that's not you. This is not you. This is a stolen ID. Wait, no. That looks like him down there in the bottom right hand corner. But as soon as I go into here, the hair color, I guess he could have dyed his hair. Her? This looks like, is this a guy or a girl? I'm so confused. <laughs> um, we'll give it back. I don't know if this is gonna go well or not. <laughs> um. Oh, it was a stolen ID. I okay. Have to arrest you I was nervous. A stolen ID. Because the what? the two pictures look different, but I think that's uh yeah, I think we made we obviously did a good job there, but uh oh boy. Search you. I need to do a search on you to see if you're carrying anything illegal. Always a bad idea to have an officer of stolen ID. Um oh my gosh, handgun. Can't have that because you don't have a gun Kermit. Per Kermit. Permit. Um You're being arrested for carrying a gun this without be all our a points valid right here. permit. Please, no. All right. Backup requested to take a suspect into custody. I repeat, backup requested. Copy that. The nearest available unit will be sent to your current location. All right. And I turned down the sirens quite a bit, so that should hopefully be a lot nicer, and it sounds like it is. All right, we'll let them do their thing. I'll be arriving at your location soon. Gosh. There we go. There's the backup guy. Yeah, I know I'm leaving them. They're they're fine. Fast you one. Oh, where's my radar gun? Oh, there we go. Start that. 35. You're going good. I like to speed on this little road here. There's a cop right there. You guys were just cruising on. Oh, at least I can get cars over there. They're actually seeing the police and being smart about it. They were speeding up. Alright. 
It's not a bad. Drug dealing, yes! Yes, we got a drug dealer! Yes! We got a drug dealer! Oh, yes, this is great! Okay, so you just witnessed an item being exchanged. Let's go and detain them for narcotic search and find evidence the drug dealer on the dealer and the buyer. So. Oh, ooh, that was a little sneaky one. Please don't hurt me again. I will obey now. You're being arrested for selling. I'm gonna go check the go get the please other person. Step onto the sidewalk. Oh, please don't do that. Alright, where's the other person? There she is. Can we catch her? She just ran out of my area. Dang it. Alright, back to him. Yeah, she ran out. All right. Well, at least we got the dealer. The dealer is the important part. All right. I'd like to see your ID, please. Okay, officer. There you go. All right. No gun permit. This does look like the person. No warrants. Um, okay. No, not bad. Identity theft, that's pretty good. And robbery, oh, that's pretty bad as well. Okay, so you're not the greatest of people. Um, let's hand you that back. All right. So, my friend, let's go ahead and search you. Put your hands up slowly, please. I'm going to search you. Your shift is oh, that was perfect. Right at the end of our shift, too. That was great. Oh, we found an illegal item. Uh, look at that, a bag of white powder. But no guns, okay. Um, can you also... do possession of narcotics, I'm assuming, as well? Yep, okay. I have to arrest you for possession of drugs. Please, officer. That is how it would work in real life, too, so that makes sense. Uh, okay, liability reason. Fleeing. You are under arrest for resisting law enforcement. Y you what? ran away from me! What do you mean, what? I guess that's a pretty common <laughs> response. People are like, what? No. All right, how far are we from the, uh, how far are we from the station? We're up here. Did we just walk him back? This would take, that'll take six hours to get him back over to the station. So we'll call an arrest transport here. I need some backup here to take a suspect into custody. Understood. We're sending the closest transport to your Perfect. location. Perfect, okay. They'll come get him. Let me know how the audio was too. I tried to adjust it a little bit again to make it a little bit better. Let me know how the sirens went and everything like that. So yeah, we will work our way back to the station, which should be, yeah, we're there. We're just gonna take a left and then go around that corner down there. So how you doing, officer? I will greet you. Just gonna get in front of you. Hi, citizen. <laughs> what a robotic response. Hello, citizen. Don't get hit by that car. That one's not going fast enough to hit me. All right. Hopefully no drug dealers we see on the way back. We got our we got our points for drug dealers. That was great. That was great. Not a drug dealer, guys. We caught a drug dealer. Oh, we caught a drug dealer. Oh, that was lovely. That was fantastic. Okay. Don't run away from the area. We'll go in one road and then get up. Or drug dealers? No, I don't need more. It's in my shift. Just gotta ignore everything you see. That guy's got some underglow on that vehicle there. That's a drug dealing van if I've ever seen one. Goodness. It'd be kind of cool if they did like mini cutscenes. Like if you were supposed to witness a drug deal like we just did, you'd actually see it. Like it would kind of stop what you're doing, show you what they're doing. But then again, I also think that would be kind of annoying if you had that. Maybe it's, maybe it's something you'd turn on or off, because if you had that for every time someone littered or jaywalked, you wouldn't want a cutscene. But maybe for some of the more serious ones, it'd be kind of nice to have a cutscene, I think. But I could be wrong. What do you guys think about that? I know they're working on this game, and they've done a lot of good updates and stuff to it, so... Um, I was also heard it gets a little repetitive as you get further along, because you get to a point where you've discovered everything. And that, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. At a certain point, it's not, it's not real life, so it is what it is. All right, um right here and ship all right there we go let's see how we did for the day we lost a little bit of points mostly for stealing cars and by that i mean towing them without cost so what can you do 
Yep, lost a little bit of points there a couple times for stealing people's cars. That was the drug dealer incident right there. Oh, I can perform first stand and infantry people. Okay. That's pretty cool. So we unlocked that. That's awesome. Um, yeah, we went up a level. Okay. Look at these high crime areas. Look, we got to get some presents out there. Well, that'll be next episode, though. So if you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the GamerCop channel. Turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been GamerCop. Thank you guys for coming and watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.